Alright, so here's the deal. I'm going to be doing a review, a very small review, on this straightener that I purchased about a week ago. It is the Royale, I'm pronounce it, Royale, Royale, oh my gosh, Royale um, European Pro Quality Hair Straightener. Um, after I do this review, I'm going to have a demo on how to get this look on how to curl your hair with a straightener. Now you can use your straightener that you have at home. You don't even have to have the one that I have. Um, this is the one that I use. Okay, so I got this straightener at the mall. You can get this straightener at you know, an online website that I'm going to leave down in the description bar below or you can get it off a knockoff website. Okay, so the one that I'm going to leave below, these hair straighteners run for about like $250 to $300. Um, if you go on Amazon or any other off-brand websites, you will see that it costs way cheaper than that, probably like $40 to $30. There might be something if you would that. There are dealers out there that are selling false advertisement. They are um, not selling this brand. They will give you a totally false um, hair straightener with this label on it. So just look out for those. Just be careful. Um, but I am going to leave the website down below on where you can actually get the real Royale hair straightener. How do I like this product? Well, I've had this product for about a week and um, I love it. What I love about this one is that it has ceramic plates in it. What that means is that um, there is no metal in here. Isn't that amazing? I actually got my old hair straightener. I actually threw it out in the hallway after I got this because I just hate this thing. As you can tell, it is metal plates. You can tell the paint is chipped off. You can tell I fried the hell out of my hair. Um, you can tell all the damage that I did the, to this hair straightener. Now when you think about this, if your hair straightener looks like this and the paint's coming off, you've done some major damage. And look, my hair, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but my hair is like coming out of this thing. Just think about how much damage you're doing, not only to your straightener, but to your hair. That is so bad. I was ripping my hair out. There was clumps of hair on the floor. This, it has no metal in it. It is awesome. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. Um, just, I really, really like it. And on top of that, when I bought this hair straightener, um, it comes in a box looked like this. I just got the plain green one, of course, my favorite color is green. Um, and when you open it up, it looks like that. It tells you all the things that it does good for your hair. These plates radiate far infrared um, heat. So what that means is that as it's going through your hair, it's preserving moisture and it's protecting your hair. Um, the results leave your hair very shiny, um, very silky even. Um, you will see in the clip on how shiny my hair looks before and then after, like before my hair is a frizzball. I got a lifetime warranty on this baby, so I'm going to be using this for a really long time. Um, this is the hair straightener that I'm going to probably use until the company either goes out of business, which it won't. I'm just letting you guys know that I really love this straightener, and if something happens to it, um, it does have a cord that twists, so that's very convenient. Random. This is the hair straightener that I'm going to be using probably for the rest of my life since I have that lifetime warranty. It also comes with these cute little um, clips that you can hold your hair up with when you're doing it. Other than that, I'm going to show you right now on how to get this hair look. It's very easy. You can even do it with your hair straightener. You don't have to do it with this one, but go check out the website if you're interested about this really cool um, hair straightener that keeps your hair healthy. You don't even have to use a heat protectant. I know I shouldn't say that, but you really don't. Like, I'm just saying. Just saying. So, yeah. Enjoy. Hi, guys. So, I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with that straightener. I'm simply just taking my ponytail holder out of my hair. It was just up and a bun. It honestly doesn't matter what your hair is doing. The only point is, is that you want to curl your hair with a straightener. So, that's what I'm going to show you. You can brush your ends out if you want. I sometimes do it. Um, get all your knots out, whatever. Just looks like that. And we are not in my bathroom, just so you guys know. We're in a different part of my house. I'm just going to take a little strand to show you. I'm just going to take that, this little thing right here. And just watch what I'm doing, and then I'll explain it. I go as slow as possible. That's more of like a loose curl. And then if you want a tighter one, I'm just going to take another piece. Get this thing right here. You're going to latch it on there. It's close to your um, 
as close to your scalp as you want. You're going to flip it to the back. And then you can start pulling. And as you're pulling really slowly, you're going to want to flip it so that your hair is like straight out like that. And then you're just going to go really slow. Yay. Ready? Whoop. Did you see that? Isn't it pretty? And then it normally just curls on itself, but if it doesn't, you can just wrap it with your finger. Voila! I will show you on the other side because it might be tricky. So for the other side of my hair, I look so weird right now. So you're going to take your hair straightener, flip it to the back, keep turning, and you're just going to go down. And the key part is that you want to go really slow when you're doing this. You don't want to like pull right past it because you might not get a tight of the curl. So you're gonna wanna go really slow. Mm -hmm. And then you just twist it with your fingers. And it looks like that. Ah, uh, look how bouncy it is. And if you didn't notice, my hair looks kind of frizzy right now. I didn't put any straightener protectant in it because you don't have to. Um, and it, my hair comes out really shiny. Isn't that crazy? method on how I do this. I just kind of grab parts and just curl. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.